Come on, only take one. But I'm hungry. Fortune cookies aren't about eating. They're about telling your fortune. Great. Doomed to starve. That's my fortune. Like fortunes mean anything anyway. Well, I don't know. Sometimes they're kind of right. You're a beautiful star that shines in the night. Yeah, that's about right. Many will follow your wise guidance. Cool. You're both dreaming. Good for one free egg roll. I am all over this. So, uh, what does yours say? It, uh, uh, it doesn't say nothing. It's blank. Uh-oh. That's bad. That means you have no future. Yeah, right. What's the point here, Gomer? Well, my story's about fortune cookies. Nobody really believes them. I mean, you forget about them a second after you read them. But what if the fortune you get in those cookies turned out to be true? And what if the fortune you got was a bad one? That means your fortune cookie would really be a misfortune cookie. Give me another one. Hey, if I only get one, you only get one. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story... The Tale of the Misfortune Cookie. Emerald Garden Restaurant belonged to the Lee family. It was a good restaurant, but not very popular, so the whole family had to pitch in and help. Sean's having a party tonight. Okay, if I blow off work? Saturday is our busy night. Yeah, but come on, it's never really that busy. We need you here. Mom. Oh, Charles, let him go. He deserves a break. This isn't fair. I do all the work around here. You never give me a break. Everyone pitches in. But no one works as hard as I do. If it weren't for me, this stupid restaurant would go under. You know, I wish it would go under so I wouldn't have to slave here anymore. I will pretend I didn't hear that. I'm sorry, sweetheart. It won't always be like this. Eddie, someday that signature will be valuable. Yeah, I'll put it under my pillow. Oh, you think I'm kidding? Look, I'm gonna make a fortune of my own comic book series. What do you call him? Bus boy? <laughs> I'm not a bus boy. Oh, sorry, I don't get testy. As soon as I make enough money, I'm gonna go to art school and kiss this dunk goodbye. No, you sound like my Uncle Bernie. He's got big plans, too. Of course, he's also known as. Burger flipping Bernie. Well, I'm not wasting my life here like my parents or my grandfather. Ah, you'll 
crush probably can't hear. Where are you gonna get the cash for this art school? I'm working on it. I'm gonna make it big. I'm getting a limo and buying me a huge house. No way I'm living over a restaurant anymore. Morning, sweet thing. Uh, what do you say you and me catch a flick tonight? Sorry, I have homework. What kind of school gives you homework on the weekends? A good one. Say goodbye, Eddie. Okay, big brother. I'll catch you later. Stay away from guys like that. Gee, you think? You know, I'm not a dope. You don't have to worry about me all the time. No, just when I'm awake. I got my report card yesterday. Mm. Hi, honors. Are you kidding? That's excellent. Wow. I couldn't have done it without all the help you gave me. Hey, you did all the work. Yeah, well, you did a lot. What's this for? Because you're my guardian angel. Don't think this is gonna get you out of work. Cause it's not! <laughs> It was given to me by my grandfather when I was your age. Now, it is time for you to have it. Cool, thanks. But no, it is not meant to be opened. It is to be admired for what it is, not for what it might be. You're giving me a box I can only look at? Don't listen to him, Gramps. It's beautiful. The warriors symbolize the struggle between good and evil. Cool. They've made great animated characters. You have grand dreams, David. But remember, there's a time for everything. Appreciate what is before your eyes. For one who looks too far down the road ahead may wander off the path before him. Oh. Yeah. Thanks, Gramps. Yeah. And that means? <laughs> How should I know? He gave you the box. It is not meant to be opened. It is to be admired for what it is, not for what it might be. Cookies. The cookies are right and worth. Hey, 
Where are you going with them? The faster I get my tuition money, the faster I'm out of this place. <laughs> You're going to sell them? Why not? They're mine. You can't do that. Don't tell me what I can do, Teresa. But they've been in the family forever. So what? Teresa, I need those rent to the most. I'll be right back. Do not One should find perfect existence through imperfect existence. What kind of a dumb fortune is that? Reservation? Reservation? Who are you? I'm sorry, you can't get in without reservation. Shall we try another restaurant, sir? Are you talking to me? Or perhaps we should return to the mansion. Something wrong, sir? I... I, I think you have the wrong guy. Teresa, your father said not until you start to earn it. I can't stand him. Please don't say that, sweetheart. Get away from me. Don't tell me no. We need the cash now, Teresa. Don't get mad, okay? I know we can get a load of cash fast. Yeah? I knew I could count on you, baby. Teresa, what are you doing? Who are you? Who am I? I'm your brother. Brother? I don't have a brother. Back off. Mom, Dad, something weird is going on. Everything is upside down. It's those fortune cookies Grandfather Lee gave me. Where is he? I gotta talk to him. Um, would you excuse us for a moment, please? And Teresa's acting all whacked. I can't believe what she did to you, Mom. Where's Grandfather Lee? Look, I don't know who you are, I don't know what you want, but my father died a long time ago. What? Gramps is dead? Do not come back here again, or I call the police. Dad? Mom? Come on, don't you guys know me? I do not have a son. I never had a son. Please, go away. Mom, 
have an autograph session in one hour, sir. We shouldn't keep your fans waiting. This is my character. Of course it is. The largest selling graphic novel in history. You gotta help me. I don't know what to do. You can start by leaving. Where am I? You well, you don't know me. It's like I never was a part of this family. Lucky you. In the restaurant. I can't believe it's doing so well. You're kidding, right? It's all I ever hear about. It's all my parents ever talk about. You know. If they spent a little less time making money and a little more time being family, then maybe I wouldn't be... What? Wouldn't it be what? You know, I created this. Yeah, you must be pretty rich then. So, Mr. Comic Book Dude, does being rich make you happy? The fortune cookies. They're mine. You stole them. No, I didn't. My grandfather gave them to me right before he died. You're going to sell them, aren't you? For Eddie. Mind your own business. Wait, please. Those fortune cookies. I don't know. They have some kind of magic in them. They're the only way I have to make things right again. Right? What do you mean, right? You're a rich comic book guy. Things are perfect for you. This is the only chance Eddie and I have to get out of this dump. You can't go with him. The guy's bad news. Why do you care? Let me go. Who are you? Why are you chasing me? Did you get him? We're out of here. Teresa, don't go. What's with this guy? Get lost. Stuck here forever. Why? Why are you chasing me? To protect you. Protect me? From what? From a life you hate. What? You have what you want now. No family to hold you back. No responsibility. And more money than you can imagine. There you are, sir. Shall we go? We've got a schedule to keep. Enjoy your new life. We have to go now, sir. job back. You hated your old job. I want my family back. Your family got in your way. I want my life back. Why? You have everything that you ever desired. But if it means giving up my family to get it, then I don't want it. Then your better half has won.
boy, do you look great. This place looks great, too. The tablecloths, the chairs, the food. Man, the food smells good. Dad! How are you? Huh? Fine. What's all the hubba? Teresa! What is your problem? No problem. I don't have any problems. Just don't dye your hair purple, okay? Are you all right, son? Never felt better. Where's Gramps? Over here, David. You're okay. Of course I am. And you? I think I found perfect existence through imperfect existence. <laughs> Then you have learned a most valuable lesson. I think he needs a vacation. Excuse me. I'm here to apply for the job in the newspaper as a part-time cook. Oh, yes. I'll get you an application. Mom. Dad. Hire him. Don't ask any questions. Just hire him. I promise you won't regret it. The end. Wow. That was an excellent story. So, what does your fortune say? Many do not hear your song, but it is beautiful. That's really sweet. Oh. That isn't your fortune, blank boy. Yeah, yeah. The show's over. Let's go. It's getting late. I'm getting my free V egg roll. I, I got the fire. There you go. I told you, Quinn, only one fortune apiece. Andy, you are so dead meat! 